Hi, welcome to Chapter 5, Lesson 4, or Business and Consumer Loans. Here, we will only discuss the basic concepts of business and consumer loans. So, sample problems were already given in the first two lessons, C5L1, that's simple and compound interest, and Lesson 2, that's simple and general annuities. So, let's proceed. We have here some definition of important terms. When we say business loan, the money spent from this loan is specifically for a business purpose. This could either be used to start a business or to have a business expansion. For consumer loan, this type of loan means that the money lent to an individual is for personal or family purposes. Collateral refers to assets used to secure the loan. This could be in the form of real estate or other investments. The term of the loan tells you the time to pay the entire loan. So this is usually measured in years. The amortization method is the method of paying a loan in on installment basis. This is usually done in equal amounts at regular intervals. So this could either be monthly, bi-monthly, annually. Okay, however that may be, it has to be in equal amounts at regular intervals. Mortgage refers to a loan secured by a collateral that the borrower is obliged to pay at specific terms. Specifically, Chattel mortgage is a type of mortgage on a movable property. Sample, we have cars. Outstanding balance refers to any remaining debt at a specified time. Now, what are the differences between business and consumer loans? First, in terms of collateral. For business loan, there are a lot of uh, properties that could be used as a collateral. It could have real estate, equipment, okay, or machineries, furniture, fixtures, inventory, or even personal assets of the business owners could be used as a collateral. However, for consumer loans, only real estate is accepted. So real estate may refer to lots, house and lots, houses, buildings, or um, real estate owned by the borrower. In terms of guarantor, for business loans, business owners have to sign the loan as guarantors. However, for consumer loans, this does not necessarily require a guarantor. So most of the time, for consumer loans, if there's already a collateral, uh, there is no more guarantor most of the time. However, if uh, there is no collateral, then that's the time that they may require a guarantor. Okay, however... For, uh, for other instances, they may require both, but usually, consumer loans do not require guarantor. In terms of documentation, there are more uh, documents needed for business loan. Usually, they require credit report, tax returns, and the last three years of financial statements. However, for consumer loans, they only usually uh, ask for credit report or tax returns. Sometimes they they only ask for pay slips from uh, the consumer. The most recent pay slips from the consumer. Okay, it when it comes to terms, terms for business loans are usually shorter and includes a higher interest rate. But for consumer loans, this al always or most often takes longer than business loans so some loans for example we have uh, housing loans under pag-ibig uh, would sometimes take 30 or 25 years for follow-ups under business loan annual reviews of the relationship are often conducted however for consumer loans usually no further follow-up once the loan is released unless the consumer is not a good payer of the loan. Okay, now let's have some exercises. I'll be giving some situations and we will identify whether this is a consumer or business loan. Okay, first, Mr. Agustin plans to have a barber shop. He wants to have some money from the bank in order for him to buy the equipment and furniture for the barber shop. So take note, the money that will be used 
from this loan will be used for the barber shop. Hence, this is a business loan. Second, Mr. and Mrs. Craig wants to borrow money from the bank to finance the college education of their son. So the reason for borrowing money here is for their college education of their son. So that is a personal or family purpose. Hence, this is a consumer loan. Next, Mr. Alonzo wants to have some improvements on their 10-year-old house. He wants to build a new room for their 13-year-old daughter. He will borrow some money from the bank to finance this plan. So, this is a consumer loan because this is only for home improvements or this is for a personal purpose. Fourth, Rowan has a computer shop. She owns six computers. She decided to borrow some money from the bank to buy 10 more computers. So this one is considered as a business expansion purpose because there is already an existing business and the owner intends to uh, expand the business. So this is a business loan. And lastly, Mr. Samson owns a Shomai food cart. He wants to put another food cart on a new mall in another city. He decided to have a loan. So this again is business expansion. So this is a business loan. So I hope that you already understand how uh, this lesson works. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!